And yeah, I know, I know, it definitely looks like some body part. Let me show you some really nice Dutch food. The Netherlands is often perceived as a country that doesn't really have that much culinary culture. And while our dinner dishes aren't generally that loved by other people from other countries, snacks and baked and fried goods that are loved all around the world. First off, there's the frikandel. It's basically a long cylinder of meat. The meat inside is very grayish and doesn't look that appetizing. What are they made of? No one knows really. The only thing we kind of know is that they're kind of made of the stuff that you normally wouldn't eat. Basically the garbage meat from an animal that you would normally, you know, toss aside. But if you can put that thought out of your head, you have a great deep fried snack. And yeah, I know, I know, it definitely looks like some body part. A finger, all pruned up from swimming of course. What were you thinking? The croquette or crocket. Another meat stick with some sort of gooey, semi-liquefied meat in it. They are breaded and very crunchy and are often served in bars with mustard. Most of the time in ball form. When they are in ball form they're called bitter balls. They're not really bitter though and the liquefied meat kind of a thing in the middle is something you definitely gotta get used to but if you do it is awesome. And yeah again it does look like a pea. Yeah no. In a certain way if you have a lot of imagination. Pancakes. You're probably wondering uh yeah yeah, pancakes are probably not really a thing just in the Netherlands. However, everyone around the world, at least a lot of people say that the Dutch eat their pancakes so different. For starters, they are thinner than the American pancakes, but thicker than the French crepes. Crepes. And here you can literally put anything you want on there. You want ice cream on it? Sure. Meat? Go ahead. The souls of your enemies? Why not? I personally love to eat it with both bacon and powdered sugar at the same time. And then if you roll it up, it looks like a pea. Stroopwafel. It roughly translates to syrup waffle. It's basically a thin waffle some syrup, another thin waffle. This thing is the primary reason so many people want to get back to the Netherlands after they have visited. They are awesome! They are so nice we have invented a new sexuality. Stroopwafel sexual. It's basically for the people that love it so much that they can only be sexually attracted by this. It's definitely a real thing. But seriously, when they are warm, don't stand too close to a screen because the static energy from the screen will pull on the syrup and basically it'll stick all to your screen. I've had it. Another cookie pretty much everyone loves is Speculas. I find it incredibly hard to describe its taste. But seriously, they are specul- Spectacular, spectacular. They're nice, okay? Everyone loves them. That is, if they haven't gone stale. How long has this been in the cupboard? Raw herring. You know how I always say, let it slide down your throat hole when referring to foods to cringe people out solely because it sounds so gross? Herring is basically speed sushi, and you actually let it slide down your throat hole. I don't have it here, but basically, you lift it up by its tail, it doesn't have a head anymore, and you just go, ah. <laughs> Is it a strange way of eating? Yeah. But you don't need cutlery. Olibollen. This roughly translates to oil balls. They're basically balls of fried dough that we eat at basically the end of the year. Most of the time around December and especially during New Year's Eve. This is unfortunately why I don't have them. Some people know how to make them, I really don't. You have the nice version, which is just fried dough with some sugar or something. And the horrible version, where they put raisins or apple in there for those who hate their taste buds. To each their own, I guess. Poverches. These are basically tiny, fluffy pancakes. These are basically the things that were bullied by regular pancakes in high school but were then discovered and loved worldwide and now the pancakes are regretting their actions. They taste great with a bit of butter and some powdered sugar. Und Beitkook translates to breakfast cookie. <laughs> you know those Americans with their unhealthy eating habits? <laughs> Not us Dutch. We have healthy stuff like a cookie we eat for breakfast, which we put butter on. Or hagelslag. Chocolate sprinkles you put on your bread for breakfast or lunch or whenever you want. Or something healthy like mousjes, which translates to little mice, which makes me a little uncomfortable. They are sugar sprinkles we eat when children are born, but also randomly if you just feel like it. And then of course there is licorice. This is generally not liked in all parts of the world, but here it is the number one candy. In Dutch this is called drop. But seriously, don't drop the idea to eat one when you're here. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's like the most loved candy here. And lastly, the tampoos. A pastry made up out of crackers, pudding, and some sort of glazing. I don't have one here, but here's a video of me grossly eating one. Eating them tidily is so difficult. Hmm, yeah. Wow! Hey, please let me know down below in the comments. What is some great food from your country? And if you are Dutch as well, what did I miss? If you want to have comedy videos twice and this month only four times a week into your subscription box, consider subscribing. I post a comedy video every Wednesday, a comedy story every Saturday, and this month month only a video about the Netherlands on Monday and a Q&A on Friday. All of that because I want to light up your day and make you smile because I believe smiling and laughter improves your life. But above all, I really hope you like this video and I would love to see you next time.